Some wholesalers found ways to sell some of their meat illegally. The meat ration was two pounds a week per person, and some Americans were willing to pay extra to get more. Cattle rustlers returned to the American scene, slaughtering stolen livestock on the run. It was a nasty, unsanitary business, but not well organized or widespread. The most common black market transactions were shabby little under-the-counter deals between butchers and their regular customers. Give me a nice, small sirloin. About that thick. That thick? You heard me. That thick. Well, madam, we're here to serve you, but that'll run about three pounds. Now, you haven't enough ration stamps for that. But I could let you have a nice steak about half that size. Half that size? What do you think I am? A pigeon? Oh, wait a minute, madam. Maybe I can fix you up after all. But it cost you 80 cents a pound. 80 cents? That's ridiculous. That's just what I keep saying. Wonder the government wouldn't do something about it. All this talk about price ceilings. Well, do we take it or do we leave it? Well, I'll take it. I guess you have to pay to get what you want these days. That's right. I have to go downstairs to get it. In this government film, the shopper wrestles with her conscience and does the right thing. That's what most Americans did about 70% of the time to fight, they need twice as much food as they needed when they were civilians. So do they get that steak or don't they? Because it's a very simple proposition. If we do, they don't. Well, gang, command performance has filled many an order for those sounds that remind you of home, from the bleat of a billy goat to the fizz of a bourbon and soda. And now comes the ordnance gang at 863 with a letter from Sarge Everett Hankey and Corporal Roland Lipton and this little dilly. Says, Dear Command, in close, please find peace off top of Stuka Dive Bomber, for which you will please have Lana Turner come out and fry us a three-inch porterhouse steak smothered with onions, and let's hear it sizzle. Just to prove there's no request too large, fellas, here she is, Lana Turner. Hello, fellas, and hi, Bob. Say, have the FBI men found a steak yet? Yes, it's backstage, but Lana... This is dangerous. If this audience sees steak, they'll come right up here after it. Oh, I don't know. They've seen ham all evening, and you're still here. <laughs> right now, I'm vacant. <laughs> Lana, let's get out with this thing. Be a good girl and let's fry that steak, huh? Okay. Bring on the porterhouse steak! <laughs> well, look, they got an armed guard around the steak. <laughs> hey, Pam! Hop. Oh, look at this. Well, all right, Bob. Is your griddle hot? Yeah, my, I think so. Oh, my... Oh, my oh, yeah. That's, yeah. That'll do, Bob. Now, the steak, please. Oh, uh, well, here it is, fellas. Beautiful. A porterhouse steak three inches thick. The yeah. only one in captivity. You're gonna give that a hot foot? Into the frying pan. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, yes. There you are, fellas. That's the sound of a steak sizzling. Fellas, that's the steak. That's not me sizzling. That's the steak. <laughs> fellas, I wish I could cook a big steak for each and every one of you. Yeah. 